Stephanie. Good morning, George. This video is so hard to watch, guys. These daycare workers entrusted with caring for toddlers by their parents are the very people frightening them. This morning, the daycare workers seen in this viral video scaring the very children they're hired to take care of now facing multiple charges for their actions. We started looking into the case to see, um, you know, what facts there were out there to corroborate the video and, and kind of where that might lead them uh, to pursue criminal charges. According to the Monroe County Sheriff's Office, five employees of the Little Blessings Child Care and Learning Center in Hamilton, Mississippi, were charged and arrested. Sierra McCandless, Okiana Kilburn, Jennifer Newman, and Cheyenne Shelton facing three felony counts of child abuse. And Tracy Huston hit with two misdemeanors, including a simple assault against a minor. In the video, daycare workers use a scary Halloween mask and appear to intentionally scare the young children, even chasing and grabbing a toddler at one point in the two minute video. I was in complete shock of what I witnessed, um, whether they had a mask on or the mask off, their behavior was unacceptable. Um, my blood pressure was raised. It broke my heart for my child. I was angry. Speaking to ABC News overnight, Caitlin Johnson says her two year old son is still showing signs of trauma and hardly sleeping through the night. She sees these charges as first steps toward justice. I hope you're enjoying jail and I hope you realize what you've done is serious and it's not a joke and it's nothing to laugh at. Keegan and Alyssa Hayes's two and a half year old daughter was also in one of those classrooms. They want us to show her face to see what their daughter went through. I want them to see the terror on her face because that is what I see every night. The owner of the center who hasn't been charged says she was not aware of what was happening and that that kind of behavior is not tolerated. The workers, including the one holding the camera, were fired earlier in the month. Just the attention that's, you know, that's been given to this at this point uh, might keep something like this from happening. There are people to look into what's going on, you know, in their daycare facilities. Just heartbreaking. The five former workers who were arrested will go before a judge today for their initial appearance and have a bond set. Now, the grand jury meets next year and will decide whether there is enough evidence to indict them on felony charges. Guys. Well, that video speaks volumes. All right, Stephanie, thank you so much.